My name is Eddie Gardner. My Wilmot name is Ekelum Spath. I'm from the Squaw First Nation, uh, Stalo, people of the river. And <clears throat> I'm, uh, I've come up here, I've answered the invitation to be here today uh, with, at this gathering, Wild Salmon Convergence, to talk about all the uh, uh, threats that are there to the survival of uh, this precious uh, a gift that is uh, given to us by our Creator. <clears throat> um, as a people of the river, the salmon is, uh, the, the river is our river of life and uh, we consider uh, wild salmon our, our relatives. And so when we, uh, when we see so many um, uh, industrial <coughs> activity that, uh, that actually uh, 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 ruins the water, degrades the water, the home of our, our wild salmon and threatens their survival, then, then we need to kind of, we have a responsibility to answer the call to uh, put our hearts and our minds together as one to see what we can do to, uh, to uh, save our wild salmon. <clears throat> it's uh, at the uh, center of this, uh, this dark uh, industrial storm that is, uh, that is overtaking um, British Columbia and we can see it uh, with uh, fracking LNG we see it with Enbridge we see it with Kinder Morgan Bill uh, the site sea dam and uh, uh, ocean fish farms all of that is threatening our salmon and so there are a lot of people who are scattered and uh, <coughs> and are doing something about all these issues but we need to come together and that's the purpose of this gathering, to do, to put our hearts and minds together as one to see how we can work better and more coordinated to save our, to save our wild salmon. And if we don't, as the salmon goes, so do we. And so <clears throat> we need to uh, <clears throat> um, talk with uh, anybody who is, uh, who is interested in, in, in working together. Whether that's the NGOs, environmentalists, First Nations people, um, uh, all people, political politicians, no matter who it is, we need to we need to uh, uh, seek as many allies as possible because the odds, the the the, uh, the opposition that we're facing right now to to save our wild salmon is quite formidable. It's corporations with deep pockets; they can they can buy off an awful lot of people. The governments have become their servants, and they're not governing anymore. So, so what we need to do is, uh, <coughs> is uh, in order to make a, a, a changes, is to start with action that will bring us together. And one, uh, one of the messages that I that I've brought to this gathering is to have a wild salmon caravan that comes from the headwaters, this place here, all the way down to Vancouver and to. Uh, um, and to Victoria, so that we could uh, bring the message to the to the public, and also to uh, make this uh, wild salmon, saving wild salmon from uh, from industrial uh, uh, activity, <coughs> uh, we need uh, we we absolutely need to uh, 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 give the the pushback that it's uh, that is required to change the laws and regulations to favor the conditions that our wild salmon need in order to continue to uh, provide what they do provide and uh, <clears throat> that's not in that, that's not a very uh, uh, easy thing to uh, to to put together but uh, the movements that are out there are so dedicated and um, and working uh, uh, separately, that when we bring them together uh, and, and make a common front, we stand much a better chance to uh, to uh, preserve this uh, this beautiful part of uh, Mother Earth we call British Columbia, and to save our wild salmon. So that's that's the reason why I'm here. I'm I'm listening to uh, many speakers, uh, and uh, really really uh, taking in everyone's ideas about how we can work better to, uh, to, to save wild salmon. Ah.